Eat some, bitch. What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen and right here in front of your face today, your boy, RDR, is doing a lobster tail mukbang. That's right, a lobster tail mukbang. Now, again, I was going to show a video of me cooking uh, these lobster tails, but I'm telling you, I was, I was sweating like I was swimming in uh, the, the Pacific Ocean or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But disregard, it's all good. You'll get your fix eventually. You know what I'm talking about? But um, I thought, why not do some lobster tails today? I've never ever cooked lobster tails today. So please hit me down in the comment section below and let me know if I did a good job or not. Uh, because your opinions very much matter to me. And the feedback and let me know if you want me to do more uh, lobster tails or seafood stuff like this Okay, so not only do I have um, some lobster tails right here, of course, I got some uh, uh, butter sauce right here And I got some mac and I got some shrimp mac and cheese right here if you can see right there Some shrimp macaroni and cheese Let me see if we can get a quick thumbnail up in here, okay? Because I am ready to eat Glee Let me get that guy down. Let's go. Gotcha. All right, now. Okay, today they got to drink. I got some bi, uh, whatever. It's like some anti-oxygen. Uh, oxygen, antioxidant, uh, fusion drink or whatever. And let me go ahead and get a quick moment of prison because I'm ready to smash. Father, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish my body, make me strong as a person, strong as a man. Bless those that grow hungry as I pray to. Please find us something to eat. Your holy gracious, my name I pray. Amen. Love you, Father. All right, now. So, okay, let's go ahead and smash and dash. You know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all, show y'all what uh, this lobster tail right here. This is a fat mom. Think it looks all right? Pow. All right. All right, right, right. So, man, I don't know how people do this, like, almost all the time, but, you know, I think I could get used to it. You know what I'm saying? It, the, the preparation and stuff is what, what was the hardest part. Pause. Mm. Mac and cheese with shrimp, white cheddar cheese. I like the shrimp. You can taste that is like it has like a like a ocean type taste. You know what I'm saying? You can taste the sea up in there. Mm. Little babies, little baby shrimp. Next time go big. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, let's try a moment of truth. So I guess what I do, I'm supposed to. Rip this, uh, rip this out right here. Dip right here. Mm. Oh man. Hey, cut a. Hey man, this is A1, man. Hold up. Mama, you should be proud of me. When you watch it, you should be proud of your boy. Mm. Both sides. What? Mm. Hey, man. Red Lobster, I'm on the way. I ain't never been a Red Lobster before, but uh, I'm definitely got to get some lobster tail in my life. Where have I been? I was going to attempt, which I am going to attempt to make it in the future, that B-Love soft. I've been like outdoing myself lately. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I'm very insecure with my cooking. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't know why. My beautiful mother, shout out to Mama RDR. You know what I'm saying? 
she's a good cook. You know what I'm saying? Even even fantastic baker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's obviously in my DNA to cook. I'm just a conscious. I'm just uh nervous about showing people my food. But then again, she say screw it. You know what I'm saying? I remember, I remember when I was in high school, I was in home ec, man, and I remember in the middle of uh, the semester, uh, the end of like the semester, semester exam or whatever, whatever we had to do in home ec, we had to make a three course meal or some stuff like that. It was like refreshing. Watermelon woke a nigga up. <laughs> Watermelon power, fruit of kings. She good. Um, I remember like we had to make like a three course meal. We had to uh, we had to make like an appetizer, a main meal, and a dessert. You had to pair up with three other. You know, it was me, and it was like three other people in there that you did, that you didn't even know who you was gonna be paired up with. They like drew you in. You know what I'm saying? And I was in with one of my homeboys from church. You know what I'm saying? How my boy Nathan? Is any more damn meat in there? Fuck no. Um. It's me and my boy Nathan. <laughs> this Caucasian little creature. Uh, her name, I don't, I don't remember what her name was. I think it was like Wendy or something, but we call her Rat. You know what I'm saying? Because she looked like freaking Stuart Little in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Never mind. I guess this is like a short story time. You know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, so... We all had to come together. And there was another dude. This nigga, um, it's this his, Hispanic guy. You know what I'm saying? I think his name was Luis. This nigga never talked. He was like a mute or some shit like that, right? So anyway, we had to come up with a three-course meal. You know what I'm saying? So me and this nigga, Nate, you know what I'm saying? We just like, you know what? We'll worry about the damn, um, we'll, 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 we'll do the appetizer and stuff. So we came up with like, let's do some like shrimp nachos and stuff. Man, Cuddy. <sighs> oh, excuse me. That shit came out horrible as fuck, nigga. The motherfucking the the uh, the shrimp was like undercooked and shit. The cheese wouldn't melt. Chips was nasty as fuck. You know what I'm saying? This nigga Louise, he come up with like like a Philly cheese steak and some fries and some shit like that, which they was okay. It was it was all right. This and this and that. You want to know, Cuddy, who saved our ass, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, everybody was tasting our stuff. And you can, and I think this is where the insecurity came from, you know what I'm saying? Seeing other niggas' reaction to tasting your food, you know what I'm saying? So I remember I was looking at uh, this one girl. Her name was Sunny, boy. She was bad. She was trying our motherfucking <laughs> shrimp, uh, shrimp nachos and shit. Nigga, she had this. Oh, my God. Like, ugh. This is disgusting. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here like, bitch. Bitch, you better savor that shit. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm turning the ship to another direction, man. I'm telling you. You don't know how much work goes into this right here. But when it's done, it's, I mean, it's like bliss. So yeah, we're dissing our shit, you know what I'm saying? So we're like, man, fuck you, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so they was trying, oh boy, you know, Philly cheese steak and stuff. And you know, uh, I guess it was okay because he it, he made enough pretty much for everybody to like sample and stuff. It was all right, man. But damn, um, the meat, the fucking sirloin meat or whatever, that shit was dry as fuck. Everybody was undercooking, nigga. Everybody was undercooking. You know what I'm saying? So, Cuddy, 
It wasn't looking good because all the class, they was like the ones that was raping shit. You know what I'm saying? On some, like some, uh, like what is it? Like whenever they do like the, the scores and shit or whatever, when niggas do tricks and shit, they was putting up like nines and this and this and that. And I had some homeboys in there, homegirls in there. They just gave them niggas good numbers and shit just because, you know, that's my niggas. You know what I mean? Anyway, come down the rack. Nigga, she said she was going to make some cookies, bro. We know what kind of cookies, because it didn't matter, because everybody love cookies. Cody, the fucking rat made the most fire-ass peanut butter cookies ever. Now, I'm talking them hoes was soft, nigga, like silk sheet soft, you know what I'm saying? Like fluffy pillow soft, chewy-ass cookies. This little, this little, uh, this little rat. Uh, face ass girl nigga made the best meal out of all of us. She nailed dessert. You know what I'm saying? Cuddy. I had gave her no I gave her nothing but respect that day. Them motherfuckers cookies saved our ass, nigga. They got nothing but straight tens on your boys. You know what I'm saying? Cookies was great. I mean they was great. And I, I was just like, man, you just never know, nigga. Never judge niggas. You never know what they skill set is. Cause nigga, she probably on fucking the Food Network or some shit right now. Cause sugar could bake. You know the worst part? I show sure hated when home make ended. Cause it was like, it was like a half semester thing. Nigga, you wanna know what fucking uh what we went to next the second semester? Cause then you go from home make. To fucking sewing and knitting and shit. Man, I did not like that shit at all. That shit was horrible, bro. <sighs> fucking horrible. I remember the semester exam for that shit. Nigga had to, uh, well, you get some pajama pants, right? And you pick your own, like, uh, fabric and shit, whatever. And you had to fucking, um, uh, sorry, I had to watch my language. You had to uh, make some some pajama pants, you know. They give you the material, and you had to make it. Cause that was so hard for real, man. I was messing up the inseam and everything, bro. Everything. I barely passed that shit, bro. I really don't know how I passed it. I barely, I barely passed it. I remember had to make like uh, what is those little things? It's like some kind of mitts and stuff like that. That shit was boring. A lot of people was kind of into it. Not me, man. I thought that shit was trash. I thought when I got in the home home make, I was gonna be cooking year round. Nope. Bitch cooking for half a semester. And then I was in that whole knitting motherfucking blankets and shit. <laughs> I don't know if they do that stuff now in 2018, but shit. Back in them days, early 2000, they hold us, bro. I think there was another thing like. Wait, I think there was another thing, or maybe this was another class. I never took it, though. Child development or something like that. I never took child development, but I remember being in class seeing a whole bunch of people, uh, a whole bunch of people uh, doing child, uh, taking those babies' homes and shit like that with them. Them hoes would be so annoying in class. Them niggas would be so happy. Hey, I got him, you know what I'm saying? The baby over here crying and shit. And fucking home, uh, and not home neck, but fucking uh, chemistry and shit. Bitch, why you bring your baby to school? You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit crazy. Niggas over here got these bitch ass babies. They were so horny and happy to have them hoes, like at breakfast time. You hear a number of babies crying all over the fucking place. God, I never went to that bitch ass clown. Ugh. Mm. I was a fat one right there. Look at that twerking. <laughs> I 
know what I'm talking about. When it comes to seafood, I need the fat meats, pause. You know what I'm saying? I know little knuckle ass meat. You know what I'm saying? Be doing seafood stuff all the time. If I can get some fat ass lobster tails like this, I'm definitely gonna have to give me some king crab. But for right now, shrimp, lobster, and mussels, they're my babies. Cause it's hitting for real. I ain't fine with you. Now, if only I can get my wife on board. You know what I'm saying? She likes seafood, but it, it, like she really is a picky eater. And she do like seafood and stuff. But like, if it's it has to be like fried fish, but it has to be well cooked. I don't know. I guess she just don't like the test the texture, the texture of um, of a of, of fish. I'm telling you, my next mission in the future, though, is to learn how to make a B-Love sauce. I heard that's the most diabolical A1 sauce in the galaxy. You know what I'm saying? And if it, it's got to be fire. If everybody's doing it, it's got to be A1. But I'm okay with this butter sauce. I ain't going to run with you. The ladies love luxury. That's why all they button. Mm. For real though, mac and cheese and lobster really do go hand in hand. You feel me? They really do. It's a crazy combination. Go together like chicken and waffles, pork chops and pancakes. Pork chops and pancakes. Maybe I should do a pork chops and pancakes. Hey man. Hey, shit just be coming out my head for real. Pause. <laughs> Man, what do you think? Put hit me down in the comment section below. What do you think about if, if you got this far in the video? What do you think about pork chops and pancakes? I'm talking about the big thick ass fat pork chops. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that don't eat pork, and that's fool. I ain't talking to your ass. I'm talking about fat big piece of pork chops. You know what I'm saying? I was in a. a I was on some Peter Roll shit right there. Some cook. Uh, <laughs> pork chops and pancakes. Cutting that shit like a good combination to me. You know what I'm saying? Last lobster tail. Boy, another thing about lobster tail, you really want to feel like you're getting your, your, your money's worth because these motherfuckers here cost. Hey, seafood is expensive. But whenever God has blessed you, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. But I'm just saying, like, man, hold up. You want to make sure you get your money's worth. And I really feel like two, two out of four, I feel like I got my money's worth because they were fat. I think number three, Lost Tail, was um, what set me off the edge. That sucker was so good, boy. I bought a sauce with a hit one, boy. And mac and cheese is good. I'm glad I got this. Um, the mac and cheese was with some whites. It's some like uh, white cheddar sauce. I got one with some sharp cheddar cheese, but I was like, no, nah, no. Nah. Gotta keep it classy. As you can see, I had had to upgrade. I had to get him a new plate and everything like that. Thank God I ain't doing things for you, boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Just to get y'all a quick little story time about some shit that happened in school. Over here eating some lobster tails. Y'all deserve it though. You really do. And I think I deserve it too. You know what I'm saying? Been on a chicken high all week. You know what I'm saying? Boy. Chicken high. Chicken is like the thing right now, but I think that it's time for me to set course to start eating me some seafood. More boys. Refreshing. Just want to dig in these hoes, boy, but it's over. It's over, man. I should have got me two more of these bitches, you know what I'm saying?
That shit have been like 60, 70 something dollars, but fuck it. Next time I might go ham for real, for real. I don't know, but we're gonna see. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching my lobster tail mukbang. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the little bitty story time. It's your boy RDR, and like I always say, man, look, food is a gift, so please give thanks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you don't like my video, if you really don't like my content, it doesn't matter. I love you like I always have. God bless y'all. Take care. Good night. Good morning. Thank you guys for rocking with me, and I will see y'all soon already. Bye, guys.